Kerry Chow here with Dana White, UFC president. Right before UFC 175, Chris Weidman taking on Lyoto Machida for the UFC middleweight title. Weidman's coming off two wins against arguably the greatest fighter of all time. Meanwhile, since Machida's dropped to middleweight, he's been unstoppable. How's this fight going to go down? I don't know. And it's part of the fun of this fight is I'm fascinated by how it's going to go. Obviously, Weidman beat the greatest of all time viciously twice. And I agree with you, Machida looks unbelievable physically as far as his performance goes. Leota Machida is very good at staying the, on the outside, picking his punches, counter punching, um, and he's very hard to cut off. But Weidman is one of these guys that's very aggressive in your face, and he's great on the ground. The thing, the thing that makes it interesting is, and thank God, this fight's going to go five rounds. So there's going to be a lot of time for a lot of different scenarios to play out. But, but I, I usually have an opinion one way or the other. I have no idea how this fight's going to go. Well, let me ask you about Chris Weidman specifically. He, as we mentioned, just beat Anderson Silva twice. He's undefeated, yet a lot of times critics don't think him think of him as one of the most dominant fighters in the sport. Should he be ranked higher? Yeah, well, he should get more credit. He should get more respect. Yes, I, I definitely think that. But I think this is the fight. We know he beat Anderson twice, and everybody has their reasons why. Weidman's undefeated, and he's a world champion. Very hard to do in this sport. I think this is the rubber stamp, the seal of approval. If he goes in and he beats Machida, it's going to be hard to deny him. All right, in the co-main event, Ronda Rousey taking on Alexis Davis for the Women's Bantamweight Championship. Obviously, in UFC, there's no such thing as unbeatable. But is Ronda as close as it gets? It's funny because we were just talking about this. The odds on this fight has been dropping like crazy. These odds makers that make these fights in this sport, 10-1, to 5-1, to 3-1. to 1. Anything can happen on any given day. And listen, for people that don't really understand this sport, Ronda Rousey is a massive superstar. She's undefeated, too. She's been tearing through people. Alexis Davis is a black belt in Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu, and she's got very good Muay Thai. So she's a double threat, standing and on the ground. Um, and, and, of course, as, as big a star as Ronda is, she's not getting the credit that she deserves. But nobody in this sport, man, you just saw what happened. You and I were having this conversation a month ago about Hennem Burrell. And, and look what happened that night with Hennem Burrell. Anything can happen in this sport, and that's what makes it so exciting. Outside of the two title fights, which fight excites you most? Uh, you, you, I, I think you'd have to go with the Bruce Leroy Uriah Faber fight. Um, you know, Bruce Leroy begged for this fight. He felt like, you know, the fighters start to get paranoid, felt like he was being kept down, wasn't being given the, the big fights that he wanted. He asked for this fight with Uriah Faber. He begged for this fight with Uriah Faber. Now he's got it. All right. You, uh, Chael Sonnen was originally supposed to be a part of UFC 175. Since then, he's failed two drug tests. He's been dropped, released as a UFC broadcaster. Do these recent events affect how we should look back at his career? Yeah, you know, it, it's obviously very disappointing. Um, he had four banned substances in his body, you know. Two of them were masking agents. So, yeah, it's... I, I, I care about the guy. He's been with us. He's done a lot of good things with us, for us. Um, you know, it, it's, it's, it sucks. You, you mentioned the masking agents. Should we go so far as to say put an asterisk next to his wins? Yeah, it makes you, it, it makes you, it makes you look at him completely different, discredits him in every way possible. And, and he's got a lot of work to do to try to bounce back from something like this. You know, you never want to see, you never want to see something like this happen in the first place, right? Then you don't want to see a guy's life go down the tubes because of it. Uh, I think America is a very forgiving country when people handle themselves the right way. Now we'll sit back and see how Chael Sonnen handles, handles himself. We'll end this on a high note. In one sentence, what's UFC 175 going to be like? Well, this whole week going into this weekend has been insane. It's been perfect. Everything has run smooth. Everything has been successful. Now I hope for great fights. I just, I just hope that both cards are unbelievable great fights. UFC President Dana White joining us here on ESPN MMA Live Extra. Appreciate it, Dana. Thank you.